A Power of Flavor is presented by Parents Indépendants. Bienvenue à une demi-heure de saveur. Mon nom c'est Patrick. And my name is Maria. Today we will be making Mexican breakfast. Okay. It's a Mexican breakfast we normally do at home, so we figured why not share with you guys. Um, there's uh, three things we're going to be making. Uh, the first one is called huevos divorciados, which translation is divorced eggs. The reason why is because one has green salsa and one has red salsa, so it's supposed to be divorced. That's my favorite. Yeah, it's really Not good. Of the divorce, no, no, but no, the mixture of the two the sauces. Mixture. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is um, chicharron and salsa roja, which translation is pork brines with red salsa. The pork brines, you can find them downstairs. They're a nice light snack. Um, and uh, we normally eat them with just salsa, like yeah. um, franks or hot, hot sauce. sauce. Yeah. And the third one is. Crescents. We're going to be using this one since uh, we want to do it um, easier for you guys at home. Um, and we're going to be using um, cinnamon and sugar to make it into a churro and pecans. Sounds delicious. So we'll start with that. Okay. I'm going to start mixing my sugar and my cinnamon. Um, if you have cinnamon at home, the one that's the, the whole um, bark, you can use that as well. You just have to grate it. And that gives it a really nice taste. So we'll need half a cup of sugar and two teaspoons of cinnamon. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. I made something happen. And then you're supposed to roll it from here. So everything oh, from pops here. from there. Now, I like a lot of cinnamon in the stuff I make, so I'm going to be a little bit more generous. And there we go. See, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not that fun to open. <laughs> well, if you were to want to use the real puff pastry, I believe it's available at some stores, and that's what you could use. There you go. There we go. I mean, you would think that if you follow the instructions, it should be easy. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so I'm still measuring my sugar and my cinnamon. Our oven is at 350. They'll go in for 15 to um, 12 to 15 minutes. And they're really easy to make, and they're different. So what's the next step? So we're going to open it. We're going to disassemble it because we want to be able to roll them. So very carefully, we're just going to okay. open. And I'm just mixing the sugar and the cinnamon. Now, should we put like flour in the thing? It's not going to stick or? Let's see. It should be all right as long as we don't, if you don't um, handle it too much, if you don't play around with it too much, normally it stays really well. But if we start playing with it, then yes, it'll become really sticky. Oh. Here. No, that's fine. Just keep on going. And then that one usually, it's because it got stuck. There you go there, there. Yep. Patch it up. Yeah, we can patch it up. So it's it's really easy to follow since it has the the lines. the lines. So we're just gonna go with that. We have our cinnamon and sugar, and we have our crushed pecans. You want them to be crushed to be able to spread them easier. And I'm just gonna go with the knife really fast. 
If you want to maybe do that, follow the lines. Just follow the point. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's easier for us to roll them after. You can basically um, put anything inside. You can put some cheese. You can do a little piece of ham. You can do. Should I? Sorry. Should I split them or separate them or? It's okay. I think it should be all right. Um, you can put cream cheese and jam and then roll them. It's like you can pretty much do anything with those. But today we're doing um, dessert. And as you can see, it's pretty fun. <laughs> there we go. I don't know about this one, but here. Sure. I'm just going to make my own line. So we have them all ready to go. There we go. And Hopefully. that one, that one, the the one on the edge is giving a little bit of trouble. I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting the sugar and the cinnamon. It smells good. It does, eh? So you can be generous. That's fine. Then you just spread it with your hand. Maybe I'll get a bit more there. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of pecan. I don't think butter is necessary because they have like enough butter. And if we're, you were using real puff pastry, you definitely wouldn't need um, the butter. Maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. I think that's good. So in order to get the shape we want, we're going to go this way. We're going to roll it this way. We want the little edge like that. And then we're just going to go like that. Now, technically, you can roll it however you want it, but we want that shape, so we're going to keep with that. Now, in Mexico, churros are um, stuffed with caramel and chocolate and whole, a uh, whole bunch of different sauces. Normally, they're not stuffed with pecans, but I figured that it would be a nice combination. So then I'm just turning around the ends, twisting a little bit, and we can even cross them. There we go. We're making a mess on the cutting board. How about I put directly yeah. on the end? There we go. Beautiful. It takes just a little bit of um, patience. Patience, yeah. Beaucoup de patience. There we go. So if you see us a little bit quiet, it's because we're concentrating. There we go. And the good thing about doing it on a clean cutting board is that you can actually grab this after and just put it on top. Use it as your topping. Wait, you do this, this one after. That's the, the corner one that was giving trouble? Yes. <laughs> there you go. Let's see. Now, if one is giving you trouble, you can always like extend it a little bit more to be able to handle it. And then you can just go for it. with the ends and then we don't want to waste the toppings. Nope. So is it better to leave the, give them a space? Yes, I would give them a little bit of space. They don't grow that much 
um, as if you were using your own puff pastry that you would let rest and then you would let, um, you would bake it. Okay. But yeah, you want to give them a bit of space because if you put them together, it'll turn into a, a whole bunch, a lump. A lump? Yeah. All right. So I'm messing up for Yes. Right. They're going to go in the, into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes okay. at 350. And then after we're going to start preparing our huevos divorciados and our chicharrón in salsa roja. And uh, so many Spanish words. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll do that once we come back from the break. Yeah. Alors, bienvenue de la pause. Et maintenant, nous allons commencer. Huevos divorciados. Exactement. So, divorce day. <laughs> it smells really good. The crescents are cooking in the oven, and uh, off we go. So we're going to be um, serving our eggs with a side of refried beans. We've used refried beans before. They come in a can. Um, you can add cilantro, salt, pepper to your liking. Um, so they're ready to go there and we're just gonna start heating them up. While he does that, I'm going to start cutting an onion for our chicharrón, which that means our pork rinds. Normally, um, at our house, I think it was around Christmas that my aunt did this recipe with the pork rinds and the salsa. Yep. And uh, she would serve it in like a big platter and then she would serve tortillas on the side and people could make their own tacos or just eat it like that. And we had something else as well. Kind of like a casserole style meal. The huevos divorciados, we normally do them for ourselves because they do take um, quite a bit of time. So it's something that you want to give yourself um, time to prepare, like maybe on the weekend. And don't go too crazy and don't try to make them for like a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Mais ça, ça, ça vaut la peine. C'est vraiment délicieux. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm just going to dice it really um, just rough. <laughs> also the dice. My knife is playing tricks on me. Quand vous chauffez vos, vos bines, faites certain que votre feu est quand même assez, assez bas. Sinon, vos bines vont commencer à brûler. There we go. And that's for that. Uh, we're using corn tortillas. You can find them downstairs as well. I think I had mentioned. They're just, um, I think they're about six inch corn tortillas. When you work with corn tortillas, they're not as easy to work with as flour tortillas. So you have to make sure they're heated all the way through. Because as soon as you do this, they'll break. And that's for the pork. And I'm going to cut a little bit of cilantro for it after. Okay. I mean so the pork rinds. We'll add the onions directly mm -hmm. in the pot. Yep. And then we're going to add cilantro at the end. We just want like a hint of fresh cilantro. Okay. Hang on, I'm just missing the oil. 
So the onions are there. How about we check the uh, croissant? Yeah, that's a good idea. Right here. Bon bouillet. They've been there for about 12 11, minutes. 12 minutes. And you look at that. Very nice. I know it's a churro croissant, but maple syrup would be really good there too. Yeah. <laughs> or caramel. Okay, so I'm going to keep on going with this. Je vais commencer à faire suer les oignons. Et voilà. Oh, they smell really good. I'm just gonna grab this. Et voilà. So, uh, what's the next step after the onions are sauteed? After the onions are ready, we add our red salsa. Okay. And then we add the pork rinds. We want them to combine. And the pork rinds start, um, they're super crunchy right now. They start losing a little bit of the crunchiness and they soak in the, the salsa. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. Perfect. And then our last recipe will be the eggs, since the eggs is the fastest one to prepare. Now, we brought this from downstairs. There's also this kind that you can find, and it's quite nice as well. So I'm just going to save a little bit of the salsa for the eggs. Yes. And what you want to do is because it normally the water sets on top, the... Yeah, you just want to mix it a little bit. Or what you can do before you open the, the can is... Shake it. Shake it, shake it. Shake it. That's a good idea. And I'm going to do this. Now, the pork rinds, you can also use a green salsa. That's fine. That's completely up to you. I have a weak spot for the tomatillo salsa. I find like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but it smells Green good. tomatoes, yeah. 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 Okay. Did you know a trick how to ripen avocado faster? Uh, put it in a brown bag. But if you like need it for a recipe right now, you put it in foil with the Chinese side. So I'm just gonna show you really fast if I can find foil. So you have your oven at 350. You put the Chinese side like this and you put it in your oven for 10 minutes. And that does it. But you have to use it right away. Okay. So, do you want me to add the... Yes, go ahead. I love oh, it. Yeah, there we go. So this is the perfect avocado, look at that. Perfect. All right, so then that's going, that's going. And... and then I add those chicharros. add that. All of them? We just dump it in. Yep. And we let the salsa, the chicharron absorb the salsa. Do you want to add the other bag or? Let me see. You can't see. Let's start with that and let that absorb. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of cilantro. Perfect. And once that absorbs, we can add a little bit more. Do you want it to still be um, juicy and liquid enough. You don't want it to be like all like absorbed by it. Yeah, just a bit, let it absorb a bit more. So we'll let that be. The beans are ready. Beans Perfect. Okay. So we can start cooking the eggs. Okay. 
Now, do you want to heat the tortillas first? Yes, we'll heat up the tortillas. Um, there's a trick in Mexico that if you want to keep your tortillas moist longer, like if you were to do enchiladas or something like that, you're supposed to add a little bit of oil to the pan and the oil will be absorbed. No, we're okay for okay. today. But just if you were to use it in something else, yeah. you would add oil and then you can like um, handle them easily. So I'm just going to transfer my crescents into here. So we have more room to present everything else. With this is fine. <laughs> Every time I see the avocado cutter at the store, I feel like I want to uh, buy it just to see if it works. So we'll go a little bit faster. So how long do you want your tortillas to... Uh... Do you just want them heat, heated all the way through? Okay. They're almost ready. Okay, so we're gonna put them here. I'm just going to get this out of the way. Perfect. So. So, the beans okay? Chicharro. How? So we're going to present all our full breakfast in one plate yep. since we're going to be eating it together. So the tortillas are ready. Perfect. I'll just put them here, careful, hot. And then I'm going to pass the eggs. Yeah. And I'll grab the beans, but I'll do that. I'll just let you catch up with the eggs. But once the eggs are done, everything goes really fast. Can I just borrow the, uh, the oil? Thank you. Alors, je vais juste rajouter un petit peu d'huile sur la pan. Et voilà. That's ready. Alors, on va faire des œufs à miroir. Perfect. to get this ready because I know that once that's done it's really fast. Et voilà. Non, you want the spatula? No, I have a cover. Oh, behind me. Ah. Alors, pardon? Mm -hmm. J'ai un peu d'eau. Je vais juste rajouter un peu d'eau dans ma poêle. Et mettre un couvert. L'eau va créer une vapeur et ça va aider la cuisson des œufs. All right. The eggs are almost ready. Perfect. I'm almost ready over here as well. Uh, Just a little bit more water. This side. And because every single Mexican breakfast should have avocado. Mm. Healthy fat. You're almost ready? Yes. Just another 30 seconds to be ready. Perfect. So that's ready to go. And that's ready for the eggs. And then the salsa. For fun, we'll add a few jalapenos. Okay. 
That's beautiful. Ta-da! Beautiful eggs. So now, the part that divorces the eggs. <laughs> You could always add ham underneath, heat up your ham with the tortilla, and you could always have ham underneath the eggs. That's really tasty as well. And there you are. There we go. So we have our Mexican breakfast ready to go, and our crescents. Let's have a taste. I, I, I am. I would like to try that first. Is it? Okay. Mm, that's really good. Okay. If I can. Uh... The texture is a different texture. It's like really soft, but it's really, really tasty. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to try the crescents as well. Do you want half? Oh, look at the beautiful inside. Oh, it's spicy too. Well, it's spicy, yeah. It. it has a cake. You can see all the pecans mm. and the cinnamon. The sugar. Mm hmm. They're really good. Well, we hope you enjoy the recipes and we hope you have fun making it at home. Merci beaucoup et à la prochaine.